Hello everyone, uh, this is Swatwasumbi here, back with another video. Today I have for you guys another Star Wars Republic uh, highlight, and in this highlight, we're going to be uh, soloing a Dark vs. Light world boss. Now if you didn't know, the Dark vs. Light world bosses appear when either the light side or dark side is victorious on a server. These uh, powerful bosses spawn across uh, many different planets, and they tend to be in a completely uh, random locations. The one I'm facing is on Tatooine, and they are going to be a named commander. I'm honestly shocked that I was able to beat this boss solo, and I thought it was entertaining to watch, and that is why I am actually creating this video. So that's all I have for this intro, so I hope you guys enjoy this highlight. If you do, then make sure to leave a like, and subscribe, and let's jump right into the highlight. Alrighty guys, we're in this highlight right now. So a quick little disclaimer, this is actually just a commentary after the fact. I was very focused on this recording, so my main goal was of course to get the gameplay and then to record the audio afterwards. So this is a Dark vs. Light commander. He's a named commander, so he does some special abilities similar to certain operation bosses. As you can tell, he uh, packs up quite a punch, he's doing a ton of damage, and overall, this is uh, just uh, insane, uh, just with the damage output he's doing, just for one person. Now, uh, this is kind of interesting, because if you decide to run away from this boss, he will despawn, and I actually didn't really know the mechanics for this guy at first, so uh, this whole entire video is essentially a learning curve, and you'll start to see uh, that later on I start to learn tactics uh, to survive. Because uh, right now in the current state that I'm at, obviously I'm taking an insane amount of damage and it's starting to catch up and I may not survive if I don't change up my tactics. Now, I will also have an unlisted video just of the full recording of this uh, whole entire fight because uh, to be completely honest, it is very, very long. I believe the full recording is like 36 minutes. So uh, as you can tell by the video length of this, I'm not showing the whole entire thing. I'm going to show uh, roughly uh, you know, the first 12-13 uh, minutes, minutes of it and then show the ending just to, to show where I got and to uh, the uh, point that uh, I got with tactics for this fight since it starts to boil down to the same thing once I get into a rhythm and you will start to see that but for right now my main goal with this guy is to just try and survive and of course it just DPS him occasionally. The main mistake I made with the beginning of this fight is I really didn't know what to do. I kind of had uh, no rhythm with this at all. As you can tell, I'm trying to DPS this guy occasionally, but uh, my health is going down so rapidly that I'm so worried about that, and I'm not really getting any damage in. So kind of at this point, I was wondering, you know, how am I going to do this? Like, what what can I do to actually succeed? Because, let's be honest, as you guys can tell, like, I'm using my defenses, I'm healing up, but it's, like, starting to catch up with me. I mean, I'm just losing health way too fast. And that's the main thing right here is uh, I'm trying to keep my companion up, but also at the same time trying to keep myself, or, you know, myself up. So it's also kind of a time where I'm studying his mechanics. The main things that he shoots is, you know, the force choke, then he does the chain lightning, then he does a lightning bolt, and then he does uh, this uh, unlimited power little thing where he just uh, throws uh, a crazy little AoE down. So as you can tell in this, he's using lightning bolt constantly. And uh, what I also figured out is I can actually reflect the lightning bolt, which is very useful because I start to use utilize that later on. And then he uses this ability right here. I like to call it like unlimited power because he just throws just lightning all over the place. But uh, yeah, I mean that is the uh, thing right there is we're just continuing to get attacked and all that stuff. But yeah, guys, I won't even lie. This is a pretty crazy just this whole entire fight. It was just a learning curve, and yeah, as you can tell right here, I got really low. This was at the point where I was like, all right, look, we need to change mechanics. I'm taking way too much damage. So uh, even though I'm trying to change mechanics, at the same time, I'm still kind of hesitant to actually do anything. So uh, I'm just, once again, I'm just kind of studying his mechanics, trying to figure out what I'm going to do to actually win this fight. But yeah, he does quite an insane amount of damage. And the best thing about these dark versus light bosses I forgot to mention is that they don't have an enrage. That's the best thing about this is even though this guy hits like a absolute truck, the thing is, is these guys don't have an enrage at all. So since I knew that coming into this, I was like, 
you know, this, uh, I could technically solo this. I was really, uh, I didn't think I was going to be able to do this. Like, honestly, just coming into this, like, at this point, I was like, okay, you know what? I'm not going to be able to do this, but at least I'm going to, you know, just uh, give a try to see uh, what I can do. But, uh, again, he uses uh, those uh, main abilities right there, just all those uh, abilities. So, I'm still just trying to heal through them. That's kind of the main point of the start of the video, is I start to learn the mechanics later on, but I'm kind of figuring out, you know, what I need to do here. So, he uses a force choke. The th funny thing about the force choke is it hurts my companion, but it doesn't hurt me, even though I do have an animation as if it does hurt me. So, I always found that interesting. The one thing that also is unfortunate is that chain lightning doesn't work at all. When I when chain light, lightning's activated on me and I have my reflect up, it doesn't do anything. So I soon figured out that you know I'm gonna have to always heal through that, and that was kind of a, the uh, thing that kind of can sum this whole entire fight up. Is every time he decides to use chain lightning, I'm already uh, you know I'm always ready to use a medical probe. Because Chain Lightning just hurts a ton. It is not a fun ability. I won't even lie. But yeah, we are still just going after this right here. Once again, just some quality Chain Lightning. Just trying to keep up with the pace. And the main thing that you will eventually see here is I'm going to learn that kiting is the key to this guy. So it's kind of funny because kiting doesn't reduce the damage a ton. The only difference that kiting does is it makes it so when he casts stuff, it takes a little longer for him to actually do it. As in, because I'm running away, so he won't to cast it right away and, you know, immediately. So I'm going to soon figure out that, you know what, hey, that's going to work. But for right now, I'm still kind of playing this game where I'm running away slightly. I'm not going, like, all the way, just completely running. Because I think, you know, oh, hey, he's going to have to run some way, so that'll help. But obviously, I'm too close to him, so he's still activating these things just in a, a perfect uh, fashion. So, there we go, just uh, healing up, just the whole entire time. The good thing that I learned is, even though I'm taking a ton of damage, I still can heal up uh, fairly uh, decent, you know, decently. The, just the main issue is then, it's starting to uh, kind of go back and forth between my companion and myself. So, he's going to use a force at Choco once again on uh, both of us, uh, but it's only going to affect my companion. So, I think the reason it's doing that is I believe the boss uh, thinks uh, that uh, my companion's another player. I guess the way that they coded these fights is that my companion is technically another player. So, uh, that's uh, I believe that's the reason why. And I'm getting really close to death right here. That was a very scary uh, moment. And uh, there's another moment like that, I believe, in this recording before I start to figure out what to do that it's just absolutely scary because as you can tell I mean my companion is insanely low right now just uh, he's dying I'm dying it's not looking too good for me and I think it's kinda of funny because me starting to die is kind of my reasoning for figuring out what to do because I was really contemplating between you know just uh, stopping just absolutely quitting and running away and having him despawn or just trying to somehow just uh, you know kinda of pull through and just beat this guy because, I mean, with the way I'm currently fighting him, it was it could be possible to beat him. It's just that it's so insanely, like, difficult. It's a lot more difficult than it needs to be. So we're getting to this point where I'm going to kind of figure out what I need to do. Because, as you guys can see right here, it's just insane the damage he is doing to me. So, uh, Lightning Bolt. I am low. I'm so low right, right now. I'm, like, literally about to die. So this is where I was like, you know, I'm going to run away. But then I noticed that he's taking a little while longer to actually do stuff when I run away. So this is where it begins. I kind of start to get a rhythm. It doesn't start off right away. And you guys will see in the next clip after this one's done when it, we're near the very end of the boss fight. But I start to get a rhythm because I realize, hey, you know what? This guy actually slows down a little when you run away. So as you can tell, I'm just running away. He's still getting it. Like I said, he still will hit you. It's not like running away is just going to help you. It's just like, sometimes the damage will be, like, as you can see right there, sometimes the damage won't actually happen. So that is sometimes reliable. Now, he accidentally aggroed to my companion. And this was a very shocking moment for me. I was actually surprised that he did this. And it's now going to throw some uh, circles uh, under me. Because normally when you have a raid group that does this, he throws down these little circle things that do an absolute, like, insane amount of damage, as you guys just saw right there. But my main goal at this point is just to attack him so he leaves my companion alone. 
So, because uh, if he uh, attacks uh, my companion, as you can tell, these circles are dropping directly under me. They're doing more damage. And not only that, it's just uh, not really easy to deal with. So, there we go. He's going to attack me once again. Very luckily. So, uh, here we once again use a little reflect. It wasn't a very smart reflect, but this is kind of my learning curve. This is where I figure out I'm going to have to kite this guy just around in a circle. And I'm going to heal my companion up at the same time. This is kind of interesting because it's like a game of being a tank a dps and a healer i have to do every single task because my goal is to stay alive but yeah not much has really changed with or you know changed with this fight it's just that i got a little smarter i started to learn really what i have to do here and that's probably the most important thing is uh, i just kind of figured out what uh, mechanics i'm going to focus on what i'm going to do and just uh, keep up uh, some DPS while healing. Now, as you guys can probably see, I'm not really uh, too focused on just maximizing my damage here because I know that this is going to be a really lengthy process. I'm going to have to continue to run away and then also just heal up and then DPS him down a little. And that was the one thing that I knew right away is that this boss fight is going to take a very, very long time doing this tactic. But in general, I was already really focused on taking this guy out. So I was willing to take the time sacrifice to take him down. As you saw, one of the abilities did not work correctly and I didn't get hit. That is something that I also started to notice is occasionally some of the abilities would not work. I think it's because of the range with the, some of the abilities. His range doesn't exactly, uh, it's not all the way. So if I'm far away enough, it won't hit me. The only ability that 100% almost always hits me is Chain Lightning. And since I know that Chain Lightning does a lot of damage, sometimes I will just uh, use a Medical Probe right before it hits me, so it will activate instantly. So then I don't have to worry about just uh, standing there, just uh, out in the open with him uh, ready to attack me. So once again, uh, as you can see, I'm starting to get a rhythm in. This is mainly what I decided to do, is try to keep him in a circle. And then uh, when he gets really close, either I was going to use hold the line so I could sprint away, or I'd also use uh, my propulsion round so I could quickly jump back and get out of harm's way. Because the main thing is, is I don't want this guy close to me, because if he hits me with his lightsaber, it does a ton of damage. And if I stand still, then he will activate all of his abilities almost instantly. And uh, as we uh, saw near the beginning, that is way too much damage to handle. And if I just take it all at once, then I'm going to definitely die. So at this point, it just came down to keeping it down uh, the mechanics, just trying to heal back up as best as I possibly could, and uh, just, uh, I say, like running away in general. So uh, he is not that low right now, but uh, we are going to uh, just head to uh, the ending, uh, just a final clip where the guy is very low, and then we can see exactly, you know, what has changed. Maybe, you know, the mechanics, whatnot. But yeah, we're just going to go to that final clip and we're just going to see uh, what's different and we're going to see the ending of uh, this boss fight. Alrighty guys, so we are at uh, the uh, final part right here. And as you can tell, we are just uh, trying to do the same exact mechanics. It is working out uh, pretty decently and I mean, uh, we're just continuing to run away just to try to heal up. And uh, like I said, I've just gotten this rhythm down where I'm like, I got to heal up during the chain lightning and then sometimes occasionally heal based on the other abilities. So even though he is uh, pretty low, I'm still trying to play it safe as in I'm just trying to make sure that uh, I'm just keeping up with the mechanics. I'm not going to try to just uh, DPS rush him, just activate everything in the last second because I don't want to choke at the very end. That would be really tragic if I uh, decided to do that and then end up choking because that would not be fun. Since we are just uh, so close, have spent so much time just uh, on uh, this uh, particular fight. So, as you can see, uh, some of my defensives are starting to uh, come off a of cooldown. So, uh, I'm just making sure that I am uh, protected, uh, just uh, continuing to run around at this uh, little circle, healing up, and then just waiting for some more defensives. Because when those are set, that's a kind of like a grace period where I know that I'm okay to just uh, kind of mess up a little. So uh, he's still getting really low and just uh, healing back up my companion, just uh, DPSing him down some more. And uh, we are getting almost to that point that he is so low, literally just a couple more hits and uh, he should be uh, done for. And I know that very well, so I'm just still uh, making sure I'm careful since we're getting to that point. So uh, there we go, my heroic moment is just up. I'm going to throw that nade right there. And uh, here we go, he is going to be uh, done just right here. 
just uh, continuing to heal up. And then this uh, should be uh, the killing blow right here. Maybe. Yeah, and then there we go. We have officially taken down uh, this uh, boss. But yeah, guys, that's going to do it uh, for this uh, Star Wars Republic uh, highlight video of us uh, just uh, soloing one of the Dark uh, versus Light uh, world bosses. This was a fun uh, video to do, and I will have the full unedited fight in the description down below. But as I mentioned in uh, this uh, highlight, do be warned that it is very long, about 36 minutes. But I just want it there for kind of like verification and validation since I know that there is a pretty uh, big uh, time jump in this actual highlight. But once again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, then make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.